So today is December 16th and I'm getting ready right now and I feel like Ryan's gonna propose but I don't want to say it too loudly and if I'm wrong I would have totally had the wrong idea <laughs> but let's just get ready Cause baby love We're heading out. We're gonna go to Irvine. I haven't been to Irvine in so long. Wow. We're gonna get Le Dip, which is a um, very well-known place for UCI students and just very nostalgic. So I'm excited to get the chicken broccoli with garlic sauce. It's the best. And little sriracha. Such a beautiful day. I haven't been at UTC in so many years. Not to record. Check it out. Yes. A little bit of hot sauce. I hope it's not too hot. It is. It's kind of like when we went back to Somerville. I don't know, right? I ride the nostalgic night on. Oh, this is very strong. Do you feel the same how you feel like? Yeah. It's like a lot For of good For our bachelor party, it was close by. Mm -hmm. yeah, we actually stopped by Stop Town. So this is my favorite little spot in college. And honestly, probably one of my favorite spots because it's like a little treasure. And this is where I arrived and I be his girlfriend on June 11th. Ha ha ha. Mm -hmm. Such a beautiful day. A lot of memories here. I used to study for finals here. It's just uh, yeah. hey, it's like the beach. <laughs> I do not remember rolling popcorn. What did you say? Fine. <laughs> <laughs> It's an awful house and I want it to get you out I'm working on a plan right now To come through I've waited for a lifetime for you To come down Oh, nothing feels the same I had an emo anxious breakdown. Ryan doesn't understand. I'm trying to understand. I think I understand a little bit. But, uh. Yeah, I guess I'm. Just built different. I'm a flexibility. And I'm like, on edge. about to cry. And like, I don't want to. It's just like, my body, my body is just... I made her too anxious. I don't like being on edge for a long period of time. And it just takes away from everything. I've waited for a lifetime for you to calm down. Oh, nothing feels the 
the same without you now. Feeling better now, thank God. Earlier, kind of had like a little meltdown that I didn't want. I don't know, just like a lot in my brain and my body, and couldn't really handle <laughs> what was happening. Yo, it's an influencer in the wild. Ooh, it's seagulls behind him. Oh God. <laughs> That I'm afraid But we can make it go away I hope you hear the things I say When I'm choked up next to you that I can fully relax. Ah, hello again, everybody. <laughs> the weather is beautiful. Like, I thought I'd be really cold, but it's like a really nice breeze. Seagulls are kind of scary, but it's beautiful, crystal cold. It was a really nice walk down the mountain, but thank you to you for carrying these because you didn't have such a nice walk. Carrying your back with your comfort and so yeah. I, I can carry. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Why is he crying? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Okay, okay. I, I turn it off. I turn it off. Back. We're back to the art. Nothing feels the same. University. Are you feeling better now? I am feeling great. Right, hold lost. I was just looking out the window. <laughs> just like looking out the window and nothing, not even thinking. I was like, oh, who are those two people? And then I was like, oh, wait, those are our friends. And then they looked at me, they kind of like, and then like they kind of ran away. And then, and then I was like, oh. And then Ryan was like, oh, no. And then he made such a reaction that I looked in front and I saw their license plate. <laughs> I'm not sure what's up. Are you still lost? Yeah, oh, no. Lost. Are you sure? Okay. So Ryan's really stressed right now. He left the car, he's trying to call, trying to look for stuff, I don't know. But he can't seem to find where he's trying to take us. Where I, I know where it's where it is, but it's like this arbitrary place where it doesn't have like an exact address. And we came here in the very, very, very beginning of our relationship because this is a place that like I really wanted to go to with like my future partner. Um, and now his like stress level is through the roof and I feel bad. Uh, and it's kind of funny and awkward because then like I just happened to see two of our friends and and he's just like super flustered now that he's like starting to vocalize like his 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 plan a little bit which I think is making him more stressed. Anyway, he just left the car to go look around and I and he told me to stay here. So so now I'm here and I feel the stress for him too because I'm pretty sure he wanted to do it before the sun sets, but now like the sun is setting. Um yeah. Sorry, Raiho. I will just sit here and wait. 
<laughs> this is funny. Honestly, though, I feel a little bit better because earlier I was so on edge and emotional because I think um, there's just so many thoughts that I had and feelings that typically I would I would share with Ryan. But because I didn't want to, you know, like ruin his surprise or, or ask too much, I felt like I had to keep it in. And then with each new like question he would ask me or like new information, I felt my anxiety like just peaking and I felt like everywhere we went, even though I really like enjoyed those places, I feel like I couldn't be fully like immersed and enjoying the moment and the space we were in because I was just like, is it gonna happen here? Is it gonna happen here? Like every sound that I heard just made me really anxious and it made me feel like I was being watched or just something and and I realized I, I don't think I like surprises like that. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm always ruining my surprises. I don't know. Especially if it's like a surprise you kind of know is coming. It, it's like a really weird feeling because now I just feel like the whole day I've been on edge. And I think at that point I had hit this peak. Um, anyway, he's coming back. So talk to you guys later. Hello. What Hello. to do? Ooh. I found the benches. You did? I, I scared myself because uh, it's here. I didn't see it in plain sight. Yeah. It's down the hill, huh? Uh, so these are like a little different. These are these are totally different because I think they were pink <laughs> and much bigger. This is awkward. Ah, this is different. These benches are different. <laughs> the other bench, remember, it was like taller than me. <laughs> it was like. <laughs> this is a completely different area, but you know, I appreciate the thought. <laughs> it's also very nice. <laughs> For context, in the very, very beginning, I drove by when I was in college and saw two really, really big chairs in the middle of the lawn. And I thought, I want to come here one day when I have like a partner. And so in the very, very beginning of Ryan and I's relationship, <laughs> we came to those chairs. Um, and he's trying to find them today and i knew he was trying to find them but then he couldn't find it and then he found it but now that we're here we're both like this is not it <laughs> but it's okay he's Low so key, stressed it might be like somewhere kind of nearby yeah but it's okay let me wait till ryan sets up a tripod <laughs> this is so ryan ho-esque if anyone knew you <laughs> they would totally. <laughs> oh man. Do you know how your friends are doing? They're doing their best. <laughs> I'm doing my best. My friends are doing my best. <clears throat> we just we just get the right right vibes here. Okay. With those two guys doing homework back there. <laughs>
like you, you didn't see us, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah.